Hey guys, it's Franco from IT and Cybersecurity Journey. I know it's been a while and a lot has happened. Trust me, a lot has happened since we last spoke. So, um, I want to make this video about two things, but really I'm just going to make it into one. Just real quick, um, I passed the ITIL uh, Foundations exam. Um, I barely passed the exam. I passed the exam by one or two questions, I believe. Um, yeah, I don't know how I did it. Um, I mean, I know how I did it, but I don't know how I passed with the score I did because I went through some pretty extensive studying um, over the course of the last week just to pass that exam. And to be frank, certain parts of the exam I completely missed all the questions in because certain parts of the exam I believe um, you kind of have to understand um, what it is that the concept is about rather than just memorizing it but I got by off of more memorization because a lot of the questions are from memorization um, and if you do the training through Udemy through WGU so through WGU they have a uh, partnership with Udemy and Dion training, which lets you view all of Dion's video on the subject. Dion's practice exams, getting at least above an 80% on them will help you pass the exam immensely. And some of the questions in his practice exams are in the exam word for word. Now there are other questions that are on Dion's exam that are kind of rephrased with different words on the actual exam. Um, but anyways, the main point of this video, I'll make that a separate video if you guys want me to. Um, just let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to make that a separate video. But the subject of today's video is how I got an IT job without a degree, without experience, uh, and with only really no certifications because even though the Google, the Google IT certification is a cert, I don't think it really counts. So I'm gonna go to my LinkedIn because this is where we'll get started on um, how I did it. So this is me. I don't know why this isn't loading, but this is me. This is my LinkedIn. Um, and basically, I'm going to take you all step by step through what I did. So step one, and I just want to point out here that before I did what I did, my profile views were way below this i mean my profile views were i was averaging like three views a month this is what i get you know this is what i get a month now um and look at the post impressions right and then search appearances which matter a lot because you search appearances search appearances are the main way besides networking that you're found on linkedin by recruiters so first thing i did as you can see down here Help Desk IT Content Creator from Course Careers. So we're gonna go over to their website real quick. And I'll link this down below. I took the um, information technology course from uh, from uh, Josh Mad Josh Madicor created the information technology course and I took it uh, from the Course Careers website. Um, if you use my code in the link down below, I'm pretty sure you get a discount because it's the same link I used. So, as you can see, I started this December 2022. At by February, I got into a I got into a support technician slash help desk role that I started, and I mean, as you can see, I mean, I haven't even graduated. This, this is just like an estimation rate, but I transferred just high school. I don't have nothing. I'm going to show you right now. The only thing I really have is the Google IT support certificate and the inform information technology professional certificate from course careers, right? So do this course. This course literally gives you a certificate, which is kind of important, but it gives you a project, right? So you create a whole Git GitHub portfolio. You show information technology projects always take it gives you projects that you do to showcase to recruiters, right? Because at the end of the day, you you do all these things, you set up your resume, you 
you know, you clean up your LinkedIn, you make it look nice and pretty, you know, keep it professional. But at the end of the day, that's just to get you in front of the interviewer, right? Once you're getting interviewed, that's where your skills come in, right? And I will say also this course careers course came with practice uh, interview questions and practice technical questions that were in my interview word for word. So that's another thing. It's like studying for an exam. I'll, I'll put it simply like that. It's literally like you're studying for an exam. When you're preparing for a job, you have to te- you have to go at it like it's an exam, right? So I studied the position. I did projects relevant to the position, right? So uh, help desk ticketing system. I set it up. I had that there to showcase. I learned about things uh, relevant to the position. So what a support technician does, um, and you know the biggest thing recruiters look for and the when you the hiring managers look for is willingness to learn and um showing that you actually have interest in this right showing that you actually this is something you want to pursue because if you go in with nothing no motive no positive attitude you're not going to get anywhere so course careers was the first step i took then my resume so i'm going to take you guys to my resume real quick this is my resume. Um, I suggest you format it like this because it's really clean for a um, recruiter to look at. So, just, you know, if you want to take a screenshot of this and format it, you know, whatever. So, polish your resume, polish your LinkedIn, and learn. Learn so that you have something to talk about during the interview and another tip for interviewing is talk to the interviewer like they're your friend don't try to idolize them in a sense or be afraid of them just try to make small talk you know try to end try to get them to say yes in a a sense or think yes you know try to get them to think positively so one thing one tip i'll give with my interviewers or my hiring managers when i got interviewed is at the end of my interview i asked them a question that had them in the in a pot that ended it on a positive mindset for them so when an interviewer asks you okay um, do you have any questions for us i ask them what is it about working here that makes you want to always get up and come and work here what is it that you love about coming here and that got them talking about themselves and i think that was part of the reason um i got the job was because when they when the ceo came in he told me that they like me and that's the reason that's the whole reason i got the job because i wasn't crazy and because they like me so I'm very grateful for that. I have good soft skills when it comes to communicating with others and that's the best advice I can give. Um, so yeah, you wanna definitely take the course because it'll take you through everything that you need to do. And after that, you just have to polish up on the soft skills. This this course in itself will have the project that you can do to showcase to recruiters. It'll show you how to polish your LinkedIn and your resume and uh, so you can get more views and clicks, right? Um, and definitely one of my personal tips definitely go for the Google IT support certificate because it does have something that they can look up right when they look up things in LinkedIn it'll kind of link this back to you and you do learn a lot that you do on a day-to-day basis um, as a support technician or help desk and then after that just apply I mean to be honest it took me at least well over 80 applications for my uh uh, on linkedin it took me over 80 applications on linkedin to even you know get to the shop and one of my personal recommendations is get in touch with a recruiter or uh not not a staffing company a recruiting company the whole reason i also got the job is because i developed a really good relationship with a recruiter um and she helped me get this job she she was the architect um, I would not have been able to do this without a recruiter, but you can obviously also do this on your own just by applying to jobs. I mean, I had other job opportunities, but I just took this one because it's for an MSP. So for those of you that don't know, it's a managed service provider. So it'll give me a good uh, outlook on my or output on my resume and for the future. But definitely um, try to get in touch with a recruiter and if you or local recruiters in your area. But if that's not an option for you, just apply. Just keep applying. Don't give up. Sometimes I feel so discouraged, guys. 
I was I was down bad at some points men mentally where I was really discouraged but once you're there man you're in you're in I mean literally after this I started getting like you know um I started getting messages like oh are you in the job market are you like help this opportunity after I got this job which is crazy to me right that that's how much of an effect it can have on you but um yeah that's all I can give for now, you know, just do the course careers course, polish your resume, your LinkedIn, get in contact with recruiters, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, please like and share. If you guys want me to also make a separate video about how I passed the IDOL exam, um, please comment down below. I want feedback, guys. Please be constructive, be critical. I want feedback. I want to be able to grow this channel because I know this channel is going to grow the more effort I put into it, but I need my subscribers help to do that. I want to provide as much value that I can to you by doing my, my mission of helping educate people on how I'm doing the things I'm doing in real time as you're following me along in this journey so that you can be here with me so that I can get to meet some of you guys in the future. So yeah, that's how I got a support technician role, like I said, I don't have a degree. I don't even really have certifications. I just passed my idol exam today and I didn't really have experience. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, please like, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.